Welcome to Echo Us Blog weekly review of trending stories. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome to the show. This is where we talk about um, the juiciest and trending stories of the week. We talk about politics, we talk about lifestyle, we talk about entertainment. You're welcome to the show once again. Now let's get into what we have for you for this week. Zelensky congratulates Tinumbu, invites him to visit Ukraine. President of Ukraine, Zelensky, has congratulated Nigeria's president-elect Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu on his election victory and invited him to visit the war-torn country. Zelensky, in a congratulatory letter he personally signed, expressed delight at the peaceful conduct of Nigeria's general elections and particularly praised the victory of Tinubu as the next president of Nigeria, adding that his country is determined to further strengthen cooperation with Nigeria. <music> Waliraji on compassionate leadership. Honorable Waliraji, the distinguished House of Representative member representing a federal constituency, has yet again demonstrated his exceptional commitment by providing succor to the elderly. The warmth of Honorable Waliraji's benevolence radiated as he bestowed a cumulative payment of 30,000 naira to over 140 senior citizens under the Waliraji Elders Welfare Scheme. The monthly payment covered January to March in fulfillment of his promise to provide a sustainer's allowance of 10,000 naira to his constituents. Honorable Waliraji also explained that January, February and March payment were missed due to the cash crunch occasioned by the CBN policy. Hence, the reason for the cumulative payments represented the cumulative month. He expressed his gratitude for the understanding displayed by his constituents. I am unaware Akimi's mother reacts to son's fortune. Morocco and Paris Saint Germain defender Ashraf Akimi's mother Said Mo has reacted to rumors that her son's fortune was transferred into her name saying she was not aware of any arrangement. The social media was agog last weekend as Akimi's wife, Hiba Book, following their formal separation, discovered that she could not claim half of her ex husband's assets because they are all in his mother's name. While the issue has attracted mixed reactions across the globe, Akimi's mother, Mo, broke the silence on Wednesday as she told Moroccan media that her son did not inform her of such a transfer according to the Moroccan World News. According to recent reports, Abok will not get any assets from Akimi's fortune because everything is registered under the Moroccan footballer's mother's name. APC <music> Presidential Campaign Committee Directorate of Diaspora Affairs, Mon Elder Philip Adekunle Oshunlalu, the news of this unfortunate and sad incident was broken on Tuesday to the Directorate by the Director, Directorate of the Diaspora Affairs of the APC Presidential Campaign Council, Peace Ade Omole. While expressing his sadness over the loss of this extraordinary man, Prince Omole said he could not think of any Nigerian in the diaspora that was more committed to the Ashiwajubola Ahmed Tinumbu's presidential bid than the late elder Oshunlalu. Prince Ade Omole said he can only pray for the forgiveness of the sins of elder Adekule Oshunlalu and for God to give his family the fortitude to bear the very untimely loss. Davido visits Lagos Commissioner of Police ahead of Lagos concert. Music star Davido has paid a visit to the Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Idowu Owangwa, ahead of his timeless concert of April 23rd in Tafawa Balewa Square in Lagos State. The singer said that he visited the Commissioner of Police to ensure the safety of his fans during the concert. In a video shared on Monday, Davido could be seen talking to the police commissioner on how to make sure his concert venue is secure. Wow, that was a smart move. <music> Pro 
Professor Esther Okubeno Dipeolu's demise, a great loss to Ekwe Division and Lagos State, says TJ Abbas. Atumba TJ Abbas, the publisher of Eko Arts blog, has mourned the demise of Professor Esther Adeyinka Okubeno Dipeolu. The 58-year-old Professor Okubeno Dipeolu passed on Tuesday morning. In a tribute to the deceased, Atumba TJ Abbas described her as a great asset to the Ekwe community and Lagos State. Now, according to Otumba TJ Abbas, Professor Okubeno Dipeolu was deeply committed to the progress and development of Ekwe. He listed one of her contributions to Ekwe development as serving on the scholarship committee of the 20th Ascension Anniversary of His Royal Majesty Obababatunde Ogunlaja. Otumba TJ Abbas prayed to God to grant the deceased eternal rest. Finally, a cold blog announces the death of Alaji Tsunde Oseifa, a man recognized for his distinct characteristics, neither smokes, drinks, humanizes, nor eats too much, traits highly alien to men of this generation. We pray that you continue to rest in perfect peace. Anitara viewers, thank you very much for joining us on this episode of A Call Blog Weekly Review of Trending Stories. Feel free to drop your comment on any of the news in the comment section. Ramadan Karim to all our Muslim viewers, all our Muslim subscribers out there. May we live to witness many of it. Do well to follow us across all of our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and if you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button now so you get notified whenever we have new videos for you. Until I come your way next week, please stay safe. I am Olayinka Olorunshola. Bye.